Save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come let us worship God our King. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. When I called upon thee, thou didst hear me, O God of my righteousness, and affliction, thou didst enlarge me. Have compassion on me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love vanity and seek out your falsehood? Know also that the Lord has made wondrous his holy one. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. Be angry and sin not. Feel compunction upon your beds for what ye say in your hearts. Sacrifice the sacrifice of righteousness and set your hope on the Lord. There are many that say, Who will show us good things? The light of thy countenance has been signed upon us, O Lord. Thou hast put gladness into my heart from the fruit of their wheat, wine, and oil have they been multiplied. In peace will I both lie down and sleep, for thou alone hast made me to dwell in hope. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy wrath. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, my soul so is sorely troubled. But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul, save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers thee, and in hell who will confess thee? I grew weary with my groaning every night. I will wash my bed and water my couch with tears. Mine eyes troubled because of anger. I have grown old among all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye that work iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord has accepted my prayer. Let all mine enemies be put to shame and sorely troubled. Let them be turned back and put greatly to shame suddenly. How long, O Lord, wilt thou utterly forget me? How long will you turn your face away from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, sorrows and heart, day and night? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Look upon me, hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten mine eyes that I never sleep in death, lest mine enemy ever say I have prevailed against him. Those that afflict me will rejoice if I am shaken. But as for me, I have hoped in my mercy. My heart shall rejoice in my salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has done good things for me, and I will sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on me shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness' sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he still offer them that sin in the way. He will guide them meek in judgment. He will teach them meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set the law for him in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. 
Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied and they hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. In thee, O Lord, of I hope, let me not be ashamed. Deliver me from thy, deliver me in thy righteousness and rescue me. Bow down thine ear to me, make haste to rescue me. Be thou unto me, O God, to protect me, and a house of refuge to save me. For thou art my strength and my refuge, for thy name's sake wilt thou guide me and nourish me. Thou wilt bring me out of this snare which they have hidden from me. For thou art my defender, O Lord, In the, into thy hands will I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Thou hast hated them that observed empty vanities, but as for me I have hoped in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my humiliation. Thou hast saved my soul out of necessities, and hast not shut me up into the hands of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a spacious place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted. Mine eye is troubled with anger, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my ears with sighing. My strength is grown weak with poverty, and my bones are troubled. I am become a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintances. They that saw me without fled from me. I am forgotten by the heart like a dead man. I am become like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many that dwell round about. When they gathered together against me, they took counsel to take away my life. But as for me, I hoped in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My lots are in thy hands. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me in thy mercy. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the ungodly be ashamed and be brought down into hell. Let the deceitful lips be speechless, which speak iniquity proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. O oh, how great is the abundance of thy goodness, O Lord, which thou hast hidden from them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that hope in thee in the sight of the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret place of thy presence from the disturbance of men. Thou shalt shelter them in the tabernacle from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has made his mercy wondrous in a fortified city. But as for me, I sit in mine ecstasy. I am cast away from the presence of thine eyes. Therefore thou hast heard the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. Love the Lord, all ye his saints, for the Lord requires truth. And unto them that act with exceeding pride, he renders them their due. Be of good courage, and let your heart be strengthened, all ye that hope in the Lord. He that dwells in the Most High... He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from a troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, o Lord, art my hope, thou hast made the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee, and no spirit shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up on their hands, and so many times thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and basilisk, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God is with us. Understand, all ye nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. God. Returns a 
if I trust in him, he will be my sanctification. If I shall wait for him, he will save me. Behold, I am the children of God has given me our signs and portents in Israel from the Lord of hosts. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. To them that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, a light is risen. For unto us a child is born, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and of his peace there shall be no end. And his name shall be called the Angel of Great Counsel, the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Ruler, the Prince of Peace, the Father of the world to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. with us, understand all ye nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. God is with us, understand all ye nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. I give thee thanks, O Lord. Grant me, I pray, that this evening and night may be without sin or Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The day being past, I glorify thee, O Master. Grant me, I pray, that this evening and night may be without stumbling, O Savior, and save me. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The day being past, I hymn thee, O Holy One. Grant me, I pray, that this evening and night may be without temptation, O Savior, and save me. The bodiless natures, the cherubim, glorify and praise thee with unceasing hymns. The six-winged seraphim supremely exalt thee with never-ceasing voices. All the ranks of the angels praise thee with thrice holy hymns. With thou art the Father before all ages, and hast with thee thy co-honoriginate Son, and bearing the co-honorable spirit of life, thou dost manifest the undivided trinity. O all holy virgin, mother of God, and the eyewitnesses and servants of the word, with all the choirs of prophets and martyrs who have attained unto life immortal, intercede fervently for us all, for we are in great distress, so that being delivered from the delusion of the evil one, we may cry out the angelic hymn, Holy, 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 Thrice Holy Lord, have mercy on us and save us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the love of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee in the name of the Lord, most blessed Master. Bless. Amen. Lord, O oh Lord, who has delivered us from every error that flies by day, deliver us also from everything that walks in darkness. Receive the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Make us worthy to pass without blame through the course of the night, untempted by evil, and deliver us from all anxiety and cowardice that come to us from the devil. Grant compunction to our souls and make our thoughts mindful of the trial of thy dread and righteous judgment. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee and mortify our earthly members, that in the stillness of sleep we may be enlightened by the vision of thy judgments. Take from us every unseemly fantasy and pernicious carnal desire. Raise us up at the hour of prayer established in faith and advancing in thy commandments, with the grace and goodness of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages and ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is continually before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Establish me with the ruling spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come unto thee. Turn not thy face away from me in the day when I am afflicted. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I shall call upon thee. Hear me speedily, for my days are vanished like smoke. My bones are grown dry like fuel for the fire. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, for I have forgotten to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bone has cleaved to my flesh. I am become like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl in a ruined house. I kept watch and became like a sparrow alone upon the housetop. My enemies have reproached me all the day long. They that praised me have sworn against me, for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. In the face of thy wrath and thine anger, for thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My days have declined like a shadow. I am withered like grass, but thou, o Lord, endurest forever. Thy remembrance is from generation to generation. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For it is time to have compassion on her. Yea, the time is come. For thy servants have taken pleasure in her stones, and they shall pity her dust. And the nations shall fear thy name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall be seen in his glory. He looked upon the prayer of the humble, and did not despise their prayer. Let this be written for another generation, and the people that shall be created shall praise the Lord. For he has looked out from the heights of his sanctuary. 
From heaven the Lord looked down upon the earth to hear the groaning of the fettered, to loose the sons of the slain, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kings to serve the Lord, he answered him in the way of his strength, declare to me the fewness of my days, take me not away in the midst of my days, thy years are from generation to generation. In the beginning, O Lord, thou dost lay the foundation of the earth, the heavens are the works of thy hands, they shall perish, but thou dost endure, yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, and as a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail, the children of thy servants shall abide, their seed shall forever be guided aright. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and of their righteous seed, who has made heaven and the earth with all their majesty, who has bound the sea by the word of thy commandment, who has closed the abyss and sealed it by thy terrible and glorious name, of whom all things are afraid and tremble from the presence of thy might, for no one can endure the majesty of thy glory, and unbearable is the wrath of thy threatening towards sinners, but immeasurable and unsearchable is the mercifulness of thy promise, for thou art the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy, and repentest of the evils of men. Thou, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy goodness, has promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, and in the multitude of thy compassions has decreed repentance for the salvation of sinners. Thou, therefore, O Lord God of hosts, has not appointed repentance for the righteous, for Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, who have not sinned against thee, but has appointed repentance for me, a sinner. For I have sinned more than the number of the sands of the sea. My iniquities are multiplied. I am not worthy to look upon and to see the height of heaven for the multitude of mine iniquities. For I am bowed down with many iron bands, so that I cannot lift up my head. And there is no release for me, because I have provoked thine anger and done evil before thee, neither having done thy will, nor having kept thy commandments. And now I bow the knees of my heart, beseeching of thee clemency. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know mine iniquities. But imploring, I pray thee, loose me, O Lord, loose me. Destroy me not with mine iniquities. Be not angry with me forever, remembering mine evils. Neither condemn me to the nethermost parts of the earth. For thou, O God, art the God of them that repent. And upon me thou wilt show all thy goodness. For thou shalt save me, who am unworthy, according to the plenitude of thy mercy. And I will praise thee continually throughout the days of my life. For all the heavenly hosts hymn thee, and thine is the glory unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory to thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the ages of the ages. Amen. Today thou hast appeared to the universe, and thy light, O Lord, has shone on us with understanding. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy,
Without corruption thou gavest birth through God the Word. Truth thou took us, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, thou only begotten Son, and thou, O Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, have mercy on me, a sinner. And by the judgments known to thee, save me, thine unworthy servant. For blessed art thou into ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and our God. O God, attend to my help. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek my soul. Let them be turned back and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them at once be turned back, ashamed, the saying to me, Well done, well done. Let all that seek thee rejoice and be glad, O God. Let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified, but I am poor and needy. O God, help me. Thou art my, my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, make no delay. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servants. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the earth, he hath set me in dark places like those long dead, my spirit was despondent within me, my heart within me was troubled, I remembered days of old, I meditated on all thy deeds, on the works of thy hands did I meditate, I spread forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsts for thee like a waterless land, hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit has failed, turn out thy face from me, lest I become like them to go down to the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for I have hoped in thee. Make known to me, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to thee. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled unto thee for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Thou shalt quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. In thy righteousness thou shalt bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy thou wilt lay waste my enemies, and thou wilt destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and thou, O Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. And thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every night will I bless thee and praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Despise not the works of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due song, to thee is due glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth Lord, he who covers himself with light is with the garment. He who covers himself with light is with the garment. As for us, it's become as we are today. Covered by the streams of the Jordan, though he has no need to be cleansed by them, but through the cleansing that he himself receives, he bestows regeneration on us, O wonder, without fire he casts anew, and without shattering he refashions, and he saves those who are in Christ our God, the Savior of our souls. Glory now and ever in the eightfold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, wishing to fulfill that which thou hast appointed from eternity, thou hast received from thy creation. 
mercy and compassion, exalt the one of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy richest mercies. Through the intercessions of our all pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, by the light of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, and the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs, and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril of Alexandria, Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarp of Smyrna, Irenaeus of Leons, and Cyprian of Carthage, of our fathers among the saints, Nicholas of Myra, and Lycia, the Wonder Worker, Leo and Gregory of Rome, Ambrose of Milan, of the Holy Confessor Patrick of Ireland, of the Holy Nina and Leitner of Georgia, of Holy Methodius and Cyril, the teachers of the Slavs, the Holy Great Prince Vladimir, the Blessed Princess Volga, and Nicholas, equal to the Apostles and Leitner of Japan, of our fathers among the saints, on our Arsalongus, Peter, Alexis, Cyprian, John, and Macarius, Philip, Job, and Hermogenes, of our fathers among the saints, Clement of Ogrid, Saba of Serbia, and Eugenius of Chernobyl, Innocent Metropolitan of Moscow and Leitner of the Aleuts, Holy Confessor Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, Leitner of North America, and founder of this holy habitation, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, Nikolai of Ticho, who labored in America, and John the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Shanghai and San Francisco, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, the holy proto martyr and Archdeacon Stephen, the great martyr and healer Consolamin, the great martyrs Demetrius, the Merch Streamer, and George, the trophy bearer, of the Holy Proto Martyr among women, Thecla, and of the Holy Great Martyrs, Catherine, Barbara, and Parskeva, of all the Proto Martyr of Britain and Cosmos of Italia, of Juvenile, the Proto Martyr of America and his companion, of Peter the Alley, the Martyr of California, and the Higher Martyrs, John and Alexander, Seraphim and the Seamy, who labored in America, and of all the Holy New Martyrs and Confessors of Russia, of our Venerable and Governing Fathers and Mothers, Anthony of Egypt, Sabas the Sanctify, Mary of Egypt, and Pelican the Penitent, Anthony of Theodosius and the other wonder workers of the caves in Kiev, Sergius of Rodinesh, Job of Pachaya, Seraphim of Sarov, Paisius Velichkovsky, Nicodemus and Silomon of the Holy Mountain, and Herman the Wonder Worker of Alaska and all America, of the Holy and Righteous Priests, Alexis of Luxembourg, Jacob of Alaska, and John of Kronstadt, the Wonder Worker, and of the Holy and Righteous Juliana, the Merciful of Lazarevo, of the Holy Blessed Xenia of St. Petersburg, and Matrona of Moscow, of St. Tikhon of Zidane, our heavenly patron, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken to us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. We pray for this beatitude in our Metropolitan Tea Home, for the grace of the Shalaisis, the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commemorate Sergius with all his brotherhood in Christ, and for every Christian soul afflicted and weary in need of God's mercies and help. For the protection of this holy monastery, for those who dwell herein, and for the peace and stability of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy church and of God, for the salvation and health of our fathers and brethren who diligent in fear of God labor and serve, for those who are gone away and those who are abroad, for those for the healing of those who lie in infirmity, for the repose, refreshment, and blessed memory, and forgiveness of sins of all our fathers and brethren. The Orthodox, don't they rest before us who lie here and everywhere? For the deliverance of captives, for our brethren who are serving and for all who serve and have served in this holy habitation, let us say, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its presidents, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Let us say, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
that ye may cleanse the world from the error of the enemy. He who is the master of all is baptized by a servant, and he gives mankind cleansing through water. Unto him let us cry aloud, O God who has appeared to us, Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages, amen, ages, amen. The shining lamp that was born of a barren woman, seeing the sun that shone forth from a virgin, asking for baptism in the Jordan, cried aloud to him in fear and joy, sanctify me, O Master, by thy divine epiphany. Lord, now let us love thy
Thou thyself blessed these foes, this wheat, this wine, and oil, and multiply them in this holy monastery and all thy world, and sanctify the faithful that partake of them. For it is thou who dost bless and sanctify all things, O Christ our God, and unto thee we send up glory, together with thy Father, who is the beginning, and thou all holy, good, and life, and spirit, now and ever. Stronger than I, and they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. 
They that reward evil for good have slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, and depart not from me. And then unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, and depart not from me. And then unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I keep watch for thee as God, my soul is thirsted for thee. How often has my flesh longed for thee in a barren and trackless and waterless land? So have I appeared before thee in the sanctuary to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. Let my soul be filled as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise thee with, lips, with joyful lips. If I remembered thee upon my bed, at dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast become my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has pleased to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. But they sought after my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be delivered up to the edge of the sword, they shall be portions for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, everyone that swears by him shall be praised. For the mouth of them that speak unjust things is stopped. At dawn I did meditate on thee, for thou hast become my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul has pleased to thee, thy right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, incline thy ear to my supplication. For my soul is filled with evils, and my life is drawn nigh into hell. I have been counted with them that go down to the pit. I have become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cast off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Thy anger lies hard upon me, and thou hast brought all thy ways upon me. Thou hast removed my acquaintances far from me, they made me abomination to themselves. I have been delivered up and have not gone forth. My eyes are weeping from poverty. I cried unto thee, O Lord, all the day. I have stretched out my hand unto thee, who thou work wonders for the dead, when shall physicians raise them up, but they shall praise thee. Shall anyone tell thy mercy in the grave and of thy truth and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in darkness, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why dost thou cast off my prayer, and turnest thy face away from me? I am poor, and in troubles for my youth, and after I was exalted, I was humbled and distressed. Thy wrath passed over me, and thy terrors greatly troubled me. They encircled me like water, all the day long they surrounded me together. Thou hast put far from me friend and neighbor and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, and bind my ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all thy iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion who satisfies thy desire with good things, so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes mercy and judgment for all that are wrong. He made known his ways unto Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. His wrath will not endure until the end, neither will he be angry forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor rewarded us according to our sins. As high as heaven is above the earth, so the Lord has, has strengthened his mercy for men who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our enemies from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion upon them who fear him. For he knows our passion, and he has remembered to fear us. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field shall be flourish. For the wind passes over it, and it shall be no more, and no longer shall it know the place thereof. The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting and all that have feared him, and his righteousness to children's children, to them that keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, might and strength that do his word, hearkening to the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, and ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Alexis, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commander right Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. testimony was born to thee that thou art the beloved Son, so is thou revealed as co-eternal with the Father and the Holy Spirit descended upon thee. Enlightened by thee we cry, glory to the God in Trinity, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O River Jordan, what hast thou seen to be amazed? I have seen him naked who cannot be seen, and I trembled, said he. How should I not tremble before him and turn back? The angels beholding him were afraid. Heaven was filled with wonder, and the earth shook, and the sea and all things visible and invisible withdrew. Christ has appeared in the Jordan to sanctify the waters. Praise the name of the Lord.
each other and all our life unto Christ our God. With thee, O Lord. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the Come and see where Christ was baptized, that we may further follow him to the river Jordan, and so may draw near to the voice crying in the wilderness. And behold there how the creator of Adam suffers his head to be touched by the hand of a servant in his ineffable loving kindness. And let us cry aloud to him, Thou art come and hast appeared in Jordan to sanctify the waters. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast sanctified the streams of the Jordan, and crushed the power of sin, O Christ our God. Thou hast bowed thine head beneath the hand of the forerunner, and hast delivered mankind from error. Therefore we pray thee, save thy world, O Christ. From my youth, many passions have fought against me, but would thou help me and save me, O oh my Savior? You who desire shall be put to shame.
and straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And he broke in pieces the heads of the dragons that were hidden there, for he has been glorified. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, the Lord incarnate of the Virgin, having clothed material flesh with the immaterial fire of his divinity, wraps himself in the waters of Jordan, for he has been glorified. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, the Lord who purges away the filth of men, was cleansed in Jordan for their sake having of his own will made himself like unto them, while still remaining that which he was. And he enlightened those in darkness, for he has been glorified. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, when the light of the dawn shone forth upon mortal men, coming from the desert to the streams of the Jordan. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O word without beginning, thou hast buried man with thee in the stream. He was corrupted by air, but thou makest him new again. And the Father testified to thee ineffably, saying with mighty voice, This is my beloved child, equal to me by nature. But Lord, who gives strength to our kings, and exalts the horn of his anointed, is born of a virgin and comes to be baptized. Therefore let us the people cry aloud, Not as holy as our God, and none is righteous, save the Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Rejoice today, O Church of Christ, that before was barren and sadly childless, 
For through water and the Spirit, sons have been born to thee, who raise their cry in faith. None is holy as our God, and none is righteous, save thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. With a loud voice, the forerunner cries in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Christ, and make straight the paths for our God. Raising your cry in faith, none is holy as our God, and none is righteous, save thee, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He who once assumed the appearance of a malignant serpent and implanted death in the creation is now cast into darkness by Christ coming in the flesh. And by assailing the master of the dawn that has shone forth upon us, he crushes his own hateful and loathsome head. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen, the master draws to himself the nature made by God, which had been overcome by the tyranny of greed. A new birth he grants the dwellers upon earth, fashioning them afresh, thereby accomplishing a glorious work. For he has come to deliver and protect mankind. From the ancient snares have we all been set loose, and the jaws of the devouring lions have been broken. Let us then rejoice exceedingly and open wide our mouths, weaving with words a melody to the word, whose delight it is to bestow gifts on By thine epiphany, the salt sea of unbelief fled, and Jordan was turned back towards its source, thereby exalting us to heaven. By the height of thy divine commandments, preserve us through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Christ our God, and have mercy on us. Shall I wash thee in the waters, or at the brightness of the glory, the image of the everlasting Father? How shall I then in grass touch with my hand the fire of thy divinity, without Christ the wisdom and the power of God? Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Moses, when he came upon thee, displayed the holy reverence that he felt, perceiving that it was thy voice that spoke from the bush. He forthwith turned away his gaze. How then shall I behold thee openly? How shall I lay my hand upon thee? For thou art Christ, the wisdom and the power of God. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Endowed with an understanding soul and honored with the power of reason, I yet respect the things that have no soul. For if I baptize thee, I shall have as my accusers the mountain that smoked with fire, the sea which fled on either side, and the same Jordan which turned back. For thou art Christ, the wisdom and the power of God. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O word all shining sent forth. From the Father thou art come to dispel utterly the dark and evil night and the sins of mortal men, and by thy baptism to drop thee with thee. O blessed Lord, bright sons from the streams of Jordan. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When he saw in very truth the glorious word, the preacher cried out plainly to the creation, This is he who was before me, though he comes after me according to the flesh. Like us in form, he has shown forth in the strength of the Godhead to drive away our hateful sins. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen, that he may lead us back to the life-giving pastures of paradise. God the Word goes searching for us in the lairs of the dragons, destroying the terrible snares which the enemy has laid for man. He makes a prisoner of him who bruised all mankind in the heel, and so he saves the creation. Jesus, the Prince of Life, has come to set loose from condemnation Adam, the firstborn man. And though as God he needs no cleansing, yet for the sake of fallen man he is cleansed in the Jordan. In the streams he slew the enmity and grants the peace that passes all understanding. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. A multitude
multitude without number came to be baptized by John, and standing in their midst, he raised his voice, saying, Ye disobedient, who has warned you to shun the wrath to come? Offer worthy fruits to Christ, for he is present now and grants peace. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The husbandman and creator stands in men's midst as one of them, and searches their hearts. In his hand he has taken the winnowing fan, and in the fullness of his wisdom he cleanses the threshing floor of the whole world, dividing wheat from chaff, burning from the barren, and granting eternal life to those that bring forth good fruit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Maker saw in the obscurity of sin, in bonds that knew no escape, the man who he had formed with his own hand. Raising him up, he laid him on his shoulders, and now in abundant floods he washes him clean from the ancient shame of Adam's sinfulness. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen, in piety and eagerness, let us run to the undefiled fountains of the stream of salvation, and let us look upon the word who gives us to drink from pure waters that satisfy our holy thirst, and gently he heals the disease of the world. The voice of the word, the candlestick of the light, the morning star and forerunner of the sun, cried in the wilderness to all the peoples, repent and be cleansed while there is yet time, for the Christ is at hand, who delivers the world from corruption. God, glory to thee. Christ was begotten without change from God the Father and made flesh without defilement from the Virgin. And as the forerunner teaches, it is not possible to loose the latchet of his shoes, the bond that joins the word to our nature. He it is who delivers those born on earth from error. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Christ baptizes in the fire of the last day those who are disobedient and believe not that he is God, but through the Spirit and by the grace that comes through water he grants a new birth to all who acknowledge his divinity, delivering them from their faults. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The prophet, mysteriously swallowed up for the space of three nights in the belly of the sea monster, came forth again, making manifest beforehand to all our regeneration at the last times, and our deliverance from the dragon that slays mankind. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. When the shining vaults of heaven were opened, he who knew the mystery saw the Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and rests on the Immaculate Word, descending on ways past speech in the form of a dove, and he commanded the multitudes to hasten to the Master. The Father, in a voice full of joy, made manifest his beloved, whom he had begotten from the womb. Verily said he, This is my offspring, of the same nature as myself. Bearing light, he has come forth from mankind. My living word in divine providence made a mortal man. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. said a great light hath shone even Christ to those that sat in darkness a bright dawn has appeared as lightning from Bethlehem the Lord born from Mary the son of righteousness sheds his rays upon the whole inhabited earth 
Come then, naked children of Adam, and let us clothe ourselves in him, that we may warm ourselves, thou who art a protection and veil to the naked, a light to those in darkness, though thou hast come, thou art made manifest the light that no man can approach. The breath of the wind heavy with you, and the descent of the angel of God preserve the holy children from all harm as they walked in the fiery furnace. Refresh with you in the flames they sang in thanksgiving. Blessed art thou and praised above all, O Lord God of our fathers. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. In trembling and wonder, as if in heaven the angelic power stood by the Jordan, watching the great condescension of God, how he holds dominion over the waters that are above the firmament stood in the waters in bodily form. He who is the God of our fathers. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, the sea and cloud on which the people of Israel were once baptized by Moses, the lawgiver, as they journeyed from Egypt, prefigured the wonder of the baptism of God. The sea was an image of the water and the cloud an image of the spirit, whereby we are initiated and cry aloud, Blessed art thou, o God of our fathers. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O oh, let us all the faithful, discoursing on divine things, join the angels in never silent hymns to glorify the God in whom we have received initiation, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, consubstantial in persons, yet one God, to whom we sing. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Of all the Jordan was parted in two, and the people of Israel passed over on a narrow piece of dry land, prefiguring thee, O Lord, most powerful, who now make his haste to bear the creation down into the stream, bringing it to a better and changeless path. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. We know that in the beginning thou hast brought upon the world the all-ruining flood unto the lamentable destruction of all things. O God, who revealest wonders most great and strange, and now, O Christ, thou hast drowned sin in the waters unto the comfort and salvation of mortal men. The Babylonian furnace as it poured forth through foreshadowed a marvelous mystery how the Jordan should receive in its streams the immaterial fire and should encompass the Creator when he was baptized in the flesh. Him do ye peoples bless and exalt above all forever. Our God, glory to thee. The Deliverer said to the Forerunner, Cast aside all fear, and obedient to my command, draw near me, for by nature I am good and full of love. Yield to my ordinance and baptize me, who have come down in condescension, whom the peoples bless and exalt above all forever. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. When the Baptist heard the Master's words, he stretched out his hand in trembling, and as he touched the head of his Creator, he cried aloud to him who was baptized. Sanctify me, for thou art my God, whom the people bless and exalt above all forever. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The Trinity was made manifest in the Jordan, for supreme in Godhead the Father proclaimed, saying, He who is here baptized is my beloved Son, and the Spirit rested upon his equal in Godhead, whom the peoples bless and exalt above all forever. Let us bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord, the three godly children who were sprinkled with dew in the fire, plainly prefigured how the Most High God, who shines with the bright rays of the threefold holiness, should mingle with mortal men to their great blessing, consuming all deadly error in the fire of dew. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Let the whole earthly creation clothe itself in white, for this day it is raised up from its fall from heaven. The word who preserves all things has cleansed it in the flowing waters, washed and resplendent. It has escaped from its former sins. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting Him throughout all ages. The creation finds itself free, and those in darkness are now made sons of light. Alone the Prince of Darkness groans, let all the inheritance of the nations that was before in misery, now blessed with eagerness, him who has wrought this change.
thy praises of the Otokos. But since thou art good, accept our faith. Thou knowest well our love inspired by God. For thou art the protectress of Christians, and we magnify thee. Magnify, O oh my soul, him who is come to be baptized in the joy. David, come in spirit to those who are now to be enlightened and sing. Approach ye now to God in faith and receive enlightenment. Fallen Adam, the poor man, cried, and the Lord heard him. He has come, and in the streams of the Jordan he has made him new again, who is sunk in corruption. Magnify, O my soul, him who receives baptism from the forerunner. David, come in spirit to those who are now to be enlightened and sing. Approach ye now to God in faith and receive enlightenment. Fallen Adam, the poor man, cried, and the Lord heard him. He has come, and in the streams of Jordan he has made him new again, who was sunk in corruption. O prophet, come to me. Stretch up thy hand and baptize me swiftly. Let us, the faithful, keep ourselves safe through grace and through the seal of baptism. In the past, the Hebrews fled destruction by marking the doorposts with blood. So also this divine washing unto regeneration shall be our exodus, and going hence, we shall behold the light of the Trinity that never sets. Today, John baptizes the master in the streams of Jordan. That which was revealed to Moses in the bush, we see accomplished here in a strange manner. The virgin bore fire within her, yet was not consumed when she gave birth to the benefactor who brings his light, and the streams of Jordan suffered no harm when they received him. Today the Master receives testimony from on high that he is the dear Without beginning through the communion of the Spirit, thou dost anoint and make perfect the nature of mankind. Thou hast cleansed it in the undefiled streams, putting to shame the arrogant force of darkness, and now thou dost translate it unto endless life. O most pure bride, O blessed mother, the wonders of thy birth giving pass all understanding. Through thee we have obtained salvation in all things, and as is right and meet, we rejoice before thee, our benefactor, bearing as gift a song of thanksgiving. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through thee.
Bishop Alexis, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have 
mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery, for seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, pilgrims, benefactors of this holy habitation, and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Christ our God and our hope. 
Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, most blessed Master, bless. He who deigned to be baptized by John in the Jordan for us men and our salvation, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, Tikhon of Zadansk, our heavenly patron, and Tikhon of Mosque, all the founder of this holy habitation, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anon of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Sing of mercy and judgment of thee, O Lord. I will sing and have understanding in a blameless way. O my will thou come unto me. In the midst of my house, I have walked in the innocence of my heart. I have set no lawless thing before mine eyes. I have hated the workers of transgression. A perverse heart is not cleaved unto me. The wicked man who turned from me, I did not know. He who speaks sickly against his neighbor, I have driven him away from me. He who has a proud eye and insatiable heart, with him I have not eaten. My eyes are upon the faith of the land that they might dwell with me. He walked in a blameless path, he served me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. The morning I slew all the sinners of the land. I made utterly destroy all the works of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever on to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When thou, O Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, the voice of the Trinity was made manifest. The voice of the Lord bore witness to thee, and called thee his beloved Son. And the Spirit, in the form of a dove, confirmed the truthfulness of this word. O Christ our God, who has revealed thyself, and light the world, glory to thee. Now and ever on to the age of ages of What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven for thou did shine forth the sun of righteousness, paradise for thou did blossom forth the flower of incorruption. Virgin for thou has remained incorrupt, which your mother for thou has held in my holy embrace, the son who was God of all, seeking to save our souls. Order my steps according to thy word, let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and so I will keep thy commands. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may him thy glory and majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever on to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today thou hast spared to the universe, and thy light, O Lord, has shone on us, who with understanding praise thee. Thou hast come and revealed thyself, O unapproachable light. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou at every season and every hour, have an honor of God worshiped and glorified of Christ our God, who art long suffering, mercy length and fast, who loves the just to show his mercy upon the sinner, who call us all the salvation to the promise of blessings to come. Lord, in the 
oversaw, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to my commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, collect our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels, and guided and guarded by their hosts, that we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge and unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou one to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever on to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth thou shalt go, and magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. God be God, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, and shine the light of thy kindness upon us, and be blessed for us to us. Amen. O Christ, the true life, who wounds and sanctifies every man who comes into the world, the light of thy kindness be shined upon us, and we might behold light of approachable God, and put us to the keep in thy commandments, and especially the Lord, my good mother, and all of these things. Amen. Amen. of our most blessed Master, our Lord Jesus Christ, who God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 